TFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 12 noon Eastern time on Tuesday, middle of the trading day and quite a market we have. S&Ps approaching an all-time high on a closing basis. We got the Dow up 144 points, trading at 26,655. Big day in earnings, big week in earnings across the board, pushing the market a little bit higher today. S&P's up 23 points, trading at 29.31. NASDAQ up 90 points, that's a solid 1.1%, trading at 81.06. And the Russell up 22 points, almost a percent and a half on the Russell, trading at 15.82. And we'll start things off, we got an S&P chart up here. And to put things in context right now, we're trading 29.31 as we tick around. We had a high of about 29.35. And as we put this, just to give you a little context, going a year back, there is your high. But on a closing basis, and let's just, we'll pull over the actual article. It's checking out before. So you have on a closing basis, 29.30.75, set September 20th. And right now we're sitting right above that level. So we'll see if we can close after that. Quite a number though, for sure. As uh, look at that rebound 2316 was that, I believe, December 24th low. And we're now 600 plus points higher in the SP. Pretty remarkable. Jumping back to the future charts, we'll start it off with the Dow. Quite an acceleration, even starting at about 11 o'clock. We trade from 26,540. We're now more than 100 Dow points above that level. Session highs as we speak. NASDAQ 100. NASDAQ up more than a percent. Check out that acceleration 7816 in the NASDAQ. 100. There's your S&P as we discussed, 29.35. That's the June futures contract as opposed to the cash. Crude oil, quite an acceleration as well. Above $66. We're at highs for 2019, $66.40 for the price of June crude. Gold contract with some volatility as well. Spike below 1270, back above that level. Just even in the last 15 minutes, you had gold spike and higher 1273 in the price of June gold and euro US dollar as we get a little bit of euro weakness, dollar strength. And what else you have happening? Lots of earnings, folks. Stay tuned. I'm sure we'll break it all down. We get Snapchat after the bell today with their earnings. We had Twitter early today. And let's just check in as we wrap up this update because Twitter quite a number. Now up almost 18%. And as we wait for Snap, Snapchat up 5%. Stay tuned, folks. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White, all this afternoon. Have a great Tuesday.